Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ok Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 24 Area and Perimeter Exercise 24F Question 7. Here we have got find the area of each shape correct to one decimal place. So first of all, we have to find the area of the shape and then I have to, uh, sorry, and then we have to basically correct the answer to one decimal place that is round off our answer to one decimal place i will show you how for uh, but for now the first thing we have to calculate is the area area of the figure right here how are we going to calculate the area that is also another question see that you can see there is a dotted dotted line passing through this figure at the in the middle of it right this line is dividing this figure into two different parts right you can see that it is the uh, the figure the shape right the shape it is not actually like this it is not with the dotted lines it is without the dotted lines like this something like this right uh, yeah, like this right so it's going to be something like this but can you see the difference between the two can we find out the area directly for this figure by using any formula no that is why a dotted line has been made through it which is dividing this into one rectangle and one semicircle so we will find area of both of these shapes rectangle semicircle separately after that we will add the two areas right so area of rectangle right this one will be a bit easier so let's calculate the area of rectangle that will give us 4 into 3 that is 12 square centimeters right this becomes the area of the rectangle so area of the rectangle is 12 square centimeters that um, second step is what finding area of the semicircle this is the second step right area of semicircle now how will we find the area of the semicircle find the area of the circle and divide that by 2 right so first of all we need to find radius here right see diameter will be 4 why because this line will be the diameter of the semicircle and already the length of this line is known that is 4 centimeters so diameter equals to 4 centimeters so what next the radius equals to 4 by 2 that is 2 centimeters okay and area so very simple find the area of the entire circle which is what pi r square okay and divide this by 2 so and 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 into pi into uh, r square square of the radius right do that 1 by 2 into 3.14 into 2 into 2 cancel that cancel this so 8 2 6 and point right 6.28 centimeters okay so now we have to find the total area right this is also a very this is the last step of our answer right how do we find the total area simply we will add this area of the rectangle and this area of the semicircle so add that right area of rectangle i'll just draw the shape here plus area of semicircle right that is what area of rectangle is 12 plus 6.28 which is 18 point 28 uh, this square centimeters that will we give us what uh, again we have to correct this to one decimal place how do we correct to one decimal place or round off to one decimal place see see the place right after the decimal okay to the right uh, at what uh, this is called 10th right so see the digit at the 10th place in the number right that is to the right of the decimal point so here we have two okay now once you have spotted this uh, uh, see the digit after that 8 right so 8 and see if 8 is greater than or equal to 5 if it is then add 1 
to the digit below be, be, uh, this before it right so 8 is greater than 5 that means we'll add 1 to the 3 uh, 1 to this one 2 right and the rest will become 0 right so basically 18 point add 1 to 2 so you get 3 18.3 square centimeters right so our area is what 18.3 square centimeters now let's move on to the next part now let's move on to the next one here we have again a different type of figure and we can clearly see that here again we have one semicircle another another semicircle and we have a rectangle also so that means that we have to find the area of these shapes separately and add them together very simple let's begin with what area of uh, the rectangle right first of all we will find area of the rectangle which is 4 into 3 okay 4 into 3 which is 12 centimeters next uh, sorry 12 square centimeters right next step will be finding area of the both of the semicircles right find the area of both of the semicircles so very simple area of semicircles right let's name this one as one this one as two fine so one first the area right we know the radius will be what four uh, sorry four divided by two that is two centimeters okay so basically why four divided by two because 4 is the diameter you can see and for the radius we divide the diameter by 2 so this becomes what area of semicircle equals to uh, first of all the radius that we found out 2 centimeters next step is calculating the area which is 1 by 2 pi r square that will give us 1 by 2 into 3.14 into r square r square square of the radius 2 into 2 can cancel this cancel this so this will be 6.28 square centimeters here again now next step right next step after this is finding area of the second semicircle this one here the radius first of all so what will the radius be c uh, this side is what this length is 2 why because this entire thing right this entire thing it's 4 centimeters okay so 2 centimeter is already there and the rest 2 is for the semicircle so radius will become uh, what 2 upon 2 which is 1 centimeters right if this is 4 this is 2 then this one will also be 2 centimeters okay and convert that to radius by dividing it by 2 next step is again calculate the area which is 1 by 2 into pi r square that is 1 by 2 into 3.14 into 1 into 1 right so basically we have 3.14 upon 2 which is 1 and 5 and 7 1.57 uh, square centimeters right this is what we get so let's add all of them up together and let's see what do we get here right so total area will be 6 for uh, this 12 plus 6.28 okay and plus 1.57 which is 12 um, uh, this one let's add the point part first the decimal part so 8 7 15 and 1 so 8.85 okay 8 and 7 15 and 1 right and then here we'll have 12 plus 6 plus 1 19.85 okay this is what we get and put the unit square centimeters but again we have to correct this to one decimal place round it off to one decimal place so see the point the place right after the decimal here we have 8 the digit right after 8 is 5 5 is greater than 
5 no but it is equal to 5 so what we do we have learned in round off if the number is equal to 5 or then we add 1 to the previous digit and rest becomes 0 so we get 19.8 plus 1 9 and the rest becomes 0 right so basically 19.9 square centimeters becomes our final answer and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye